Are your Etsy habits keeping you poor? Yes, I said Etsy habits. Is that a thing? Well, today it is. The habits you have inadvertently built in and around your Etsy business might be the very things permanently keeping you at that $1,000 or less monthly sales level. Yes, I said permanently. So if you don't wanna have permanently low Etsy sales, then I recommend sticking around to the end of this video because I'm giving you the five things that you can do today to turn your shop around. And if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel because I put out new videos every week all about Etsy and how to drive more revenue. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan Jaris and I am an Etsy seller of almost seven years. I've sold over $1.4 million in revenue on the platform and that's over a million dollars in profit. I live here in Southern California with my husband and my two boys. Alongside Etsy, we now have a rental property business. We're on Shopify, on Amazon. And of course I have my program, the multi six figure Etsy blueprint where I am teaching Etsy sellers just like you how to grow their business to that multi six figure level. So I am going to ruffle some feathers here and I might even make some people mad, but I'm doing this because I've realized there are a lot of people out there who don't have people in their life who will say these things to them. So at this point, I have talked to hundreds of Etsy sellers and prospective Etsy sellers who all say one thing. They all want to make more money from Etsy and one, they either don't know how or they don't know why they're getting stuck at that two to three orders per week level. Through these conversations, I've identified some huge common threads. So today I'm calling them out because if you don't realize what's holding you back, you don't realize what needs to change. And if nothing changes in your actions, then nothing will change in your results. So lifestyle choices, right? How we think, how we spend our money, how we spend our time. Those are all pretty deep habits that are hard to break. And when it comes to Etsy, there are ways of thinking, ways of spending our time and ways of spending our money that are keeping us poor. If you stay poor on Etsy for too long, or you have little to no revenue for too long, the average person will give up. Very few people have the consistency and relentless determination to work on something where they don't see results. So here are the five Etsy habits keeping you poor. Number one, they they build their shop around holiday themed t-shirts. What is the problem with this? You're constantly chasing. So there's a couple of phases of your business on Etsy that I teach. So it's the sprinting phase and the marathon phase. So the sprinting phase is all about getting traction and getting momentum. And if you're always chasing that next holiday to get sales, then you're always in that sprinting phase. And the efforts that you're putting into this holiday themed t-shirt listing are only going to benefit you for the next four to six weeks at most. Then the holiday comes, the listing dies, and there goes all of your hard work. So holiday shop they're fine and all. But if you are looking for long-term multi six figure revenue consistently year after year, enough so that you can quit your job and really do Etsy full time, well then I would recommend building a more evergreen business that brings you consistent sales throughout the year. With this, your listings rankings as well as their sales can build like a snowball year round. And having consistent revenue really allows you to build your life around your business rather than just hoping for a good Q4 or hoping for a good Easter. Okay, the second Etsy habit keeping you poor is that you think you have tried everything and really implemented everything that you've researched. I talk to dozens of people a week who tell me that they've tried everything with their Etsy shop. They've tried all the programs and the courses and they've done all the Googling and nothing is giving them results. And then I look at their shop and I realize that it's not the program, it's the user. They say, I've already done SEO, variations, bundles, Pinterest, and none of it's working. So I, I'm mentally preparing to see, you know, this refined, like perfect looking shop. And then I see their shop and I'm realizing it's full of missed opportunity and nothing is fully optimized. So the problem here, the key problem is that you don't know what you don't know. And people who think they know everything, they really can't be helped. So if you are in this point where you've convinced yourself that you've tried everything, it's really hard to get you out of that. If you think that you are an expert when you're not, you're going to be stuck in your current financial situation a lot longer than you'd otherwise need to be. So as weird as it sounds, oftentimes this person is not ready for help. They're not ready to take steps to grow their business. They need more time to hit, you know, the metaphorical rock bottom here. They need to be sick and tired of being sick and tired. So if this is you, I can't fix you, but I can assure you that the money is there on Etsy to be made when you are ready to make it. The third Etsy habit keeping you poor is that you open a new shop every time you have a new idea. Why does this keep them poor? Because they start and then they stop and then they start and then they stop. This person might have shiny object syndrome. They might be a little bit impatient. They might think that having more shops means having more revenue. 
revenue, when in reality, it means that their efforts are diluted and they're not able to stay focused on one thing long enough to really see it through. So if you have four shops and you're only able to put in, you know, 25% effort into each one, you're only going to get 25% of the results. And the problem with this is, is that each of these shops has only 25% effort going into it and they're going up against competition that are putting in 100% effort. So if you do that four times, you're really just losing. Most people don't realize that if they were only able to stay focused on one thing long enough, they would be successful. So Alex Hormozzi said, a focused fool can accomplish more than a distracted genius. I actually have a pretty straightforward framework that helps you decide if you should open a new shop or continue with the one that you have. So if you're struggling with a shop and you're wondering, does my idea just suck? Or have I just not done it long enough or good enough? Reach out to me and I will let you know my recommendation. The fourth thing keeping you poor on Etsy is keeping up with the pace of sales versus working ahead in driving more business. So a lot of people who I'm talking to, you know, they're working on orders as they come in. If they have fewer orders in their business, they work less. If they have more orders, they work more. This will keep them stuck at best. So if you are making a thousand dollars or less each month on Etsy and you want to 10 X, 20 X or 30 X that revenue, you cannot just take the orders as they come. You have to be actively driving sales with every working hour in the day. So right away in multi six figure Etsy blueprint, I asked my students, would you be willing to not watch TV for two years? If I gave you a million dollars, think about that. Yes. If sales are light, I want you waking up an hour earlier than your kids staying up an hour later than them and working on your business. Always, always be focusing on profitable action steps. Do not get stuck in a cycle of taking actions that won't make you money. So in every action regarding your shop, I want you to ask yourself, how is this going to make me more money today? If the answer is it won't, then don't do it. So within your Etsy business, you need to have that mentality of being the first one into the office and the last one to leave. I want you metaphorically going door to door like you're selling telephone books. You need to be focusing on driving sales. And if you don't know what those profitable action steps are, it's all within the sprinting phase of multi six figure Etsy blueprint. These things are really scrappy. They're things your competition's not doing. And if you want to win, you have to be doing them. The fifth and final Etsy habit that's keeping you poor is that you are focusing more on the product than the customer. So oftentimes when I talk to an Etsy shop, I will ask the seller, who are you selling to? And people are taken aback a little bit because we're all trained to focus on what are we going to sell? What is the product we're going to sell on Etsy? What is the thing that's going to make us rich, right? And we're not trained to focus on who we're selling to before what we're selling. So when I ask this question, people him and haw and they say, well, I guess, you know, I'm selling to a woman 20 to 50 years old. She likes to spend time with her family and friends. And then I realize, oh no, we have not locked in a profitable customer here. But I also know we've got work to do and that's a good thing. So there are three C's of marketing, customer, company, and competition. So we start with the customer first and then the competition and then the company. So if you are selling to everyone, then you are selling to no one. And a woman between age 20 and 50 is not enough of a customer to build an extremely lucrative business. People think they can get by without doing this, but how do you expect to have a multi six figure Etsy shop if you don't have a marketing strategy? What multi six figure business with high consistent revenue operates without a marketing strategy? So this right here is a hole that I see missing with most shops. So if you are stuck with the habit of thinking of the product first and the customer second, you are really going to limit your earning potential on Etsy. So if any of these resonated with you, please let me know. I also wanted to announce that I am looking for five Etsy sellers with annual revenue between $30,000 and $70,000 a year who are looking to take their business to multi six figures. Now I'm not looking for people who are only wanting to make $100,000. I am wanting to find five people who are wanting to take it to that 200, 300, 400, $500,000 a year level. So if that is you and you want to be one of those five people that I work with closely to get to that level, please send me a message on Instagram or you can email me team at dylanjars.com and in the subject line of that email, just write five people. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week in the next video.